Hello there beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joseph, and as you can see here, we have Minwoo's banners available. So I, we've just been talking about sort of pulls in general with regards to Dissidia and Gacha games in general. I feel like I have a very complicated relationship with Gachas because while I understand that everyone enjoys watching pull videos, it's actually not something that I get very much out of because I've never really watched pull videos. I enjoy the game first, despite the gacha, as opposed to enjoying... I don't get that same thrill from pulls or anything like I used to. If anything, I find them, I find it really difficult to do pulls because I always get nervous and I don't like the, uh, the feeling that it gives me rather than being excited to try and get something. It's a very strange thing. If you want to know more about kind of my complicated relationship with gachas, I may well make a video on it because I have played a fair few of them because I really like having a game that's regularly updated. But obviously, this is the world that we live in now, and it'll be an interesting thing to tackle, honestly, for a, from, a, from a perspective of self-reflection more than anything. But, anyways, that's this conversation for another day. For now, let's go ahead and have a look at Minwoo. So, before we get started, I do always shout out one of my patrons over on Patreon every time I release a video, and today that person is going to be Hester Flairstar, who has Enna Crow as their title card. Massive thank you goes out to you for supporting the channel and continuing to do so. And the same goes out to all of my patrons, and if you would like a title card and lots and lots of other benefits that come with being on Patreon with this channel, then perhaps you'd like to consider clicking on the link in the description box below. So I have no interest in this banner whatsoever. None. I don't want lock. I don't... I have lock. The only thing on there I don't have is Shadow LD, and I don't need it. But I obviously want as much from Minwoo as I can get. So... From that, I'm just going to go straight to gems, because with a new character, I always find that it's easier to use gems on new characters when you need so much more of their kit than you would do a character that I already had sort of that, that kind of thing for. But let's see how this goes. So let's start with a Vanille 35. Lovely. Love that for me. <laughs> uh, a Vanille EX. Sure. Uh, a Vanille EX and something for Minwoo at least. It's his 35. It's a start. It's a start. Uh, the last time I used gems, I had to pity Tifa BT. So here's hoping we don't have to do that again. And this isn't looking great so far. <laughs> this is not looking great so far. I do, I get really nervous whenever I pull on anything. And it's rare that I get genuinely excited by pulls. Which sounds terrible, and I'm probably shooting myself in the foot as a content creator by saying that live on camera and on stream. But I only know how to be honest, and I find, I find pulling to be a negative experience pretty much all the time. I mean, that's a good start. We've got, we've got his EX. It's something. It's something. Oh yeah, we, we do need to get the, um, the summon points for Minwoo as well, don't we? I'm just going to click ahead. Two more EXs for Minwoo. This is not going well so far. Uh, another EX for Minwoo and a Vanille LD. Sure. <laughs> well, there's Minwoo's LD, so that's something. We now need to get the FR. It's not that. Can I pull a BT, please? I haven't pulled a BT for ages. I failed to get Renoa, and I failed to get Tifa and had to pity it. So if you could just do me a big favour. But apparently not. <laughs> no, apparently not. That's fine. That's another LD. That's fine. My luck had to come to an end eventually. It was doing quite well for a while, wasn't it? Nope, nothing there. You can at least give me a BT so I can pity the FR and move on, right? Or you're just not going to give me either of them. Okay, well there's an FR. Do I just continue on or shall I leave it there at this point? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it... 
Oh, I don't know what to do. What would you do at this point? Would I go to 400? Well, no, there's no point going to 400 because I can exchange 300 for the, um, for the power stones. Um, hmm. Where am I at right now? Let me have a look. Uh, 340. I could just go ahead and pity the, the BT. But what if I get the BT whilst also pulling for Hope or Van? So I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be the right choice. I don't think I need the BT to finish this event, like finish this event. So if I go ahead and I just use the LD and I use Core FR instead of Minwoo, then I can decide later after I've used tickets on Van and Hope. So I think that because it's been so expensive already, I think it's sensible to just stop here. Um, because if I were to go ahead and pity the BT, and then I go ahead and, like, get the BT whilst pulling for one of the others, I think it would be a mistake. But I'm also not going to max out the FR right now, because it would also be a mistake. Well, actually, mm, would it? Um, no, I think I'm not going to max out the FR here either, because if I decide to go back into this, uh, into this banner to get the BT, I could pull duplicates of the FR... And the, or pull the BT before getting to 400 points, and then I can, like, capitalize on high power stones that way. But I, so I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, not the best banner in the world. It's definitely put a dent in my gems pretty heavily, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave it with that, so thank you very much, and we'll go ahead and we'll do the event with it. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to tackle the Shinryu here, and I'm actually going to try and do the... Various Shinryus that are coming out with a Dare to Defy style mentality for this month because it will make it a bit more exciting for me and I think that it will be nice to just explore it that way, not use the same characters twice. But that being said, I'm going to use Minwoo here because he's more useful here than he has been in any of the other events that come about. So it will be nice to see what a wider roster can do because there's a lot of characters that I just haven't been using. But this should go pretty smoothly with the characters that I have here, and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. So we're just going to go in and dive in. Um, right, so let's have a look here. So I don't think I've heard your opinion, so I'm curious. Thoughts on FF16? I was feeling tenuous about it because I don't necessarily love the direction the series is going in. 15 was a big disappointment to me, but the changes they made in 7 Remake were much better. As a fan of hack and slash adventure games like Devil May Cry, the new gameplay trailers have invigorated my interest in 16. I've been interested in 16 the whole time, to be honest. Like, I really like the direction that 16 is going in. I love action games. I find them much more exciting than you might think. I'm supposed to use the LD there, and I didn't because I'm being a div. So I'm just going to charge FR gauge with Rinawa here. So we're just going to angel wing our way through and just gain some gauge. Um, but I'm actually very excited for 16. Very, very excited. Uh, I think that a lot of people are putting a bit too much pressure on the, oh, it's a Yoshi P game, it'll be great. Literally, ah, <laughs> caught it out. I caught it out just before it happened. <laughs> because I think people are putting a little bit too much pressure on that, and I think it's kind of unfair. Because what if the game turns out not to be great? Because I think that people do put a little bit too much cult of personality into games nowadays, which is kind of weird. Um... Your Hideo Kojimas, your Hideki Kamiyas, etc. There is absolutely no reason why the game could not turn out to be not great. But I'm very hopeful for it. I'm very hopeful for it. I would very much like to see 16 do well, especially as a more action-oriented game. And I do also think that because there are a lot of people that complain about the direction Final Fantasy has taken, saying, oh, well, what happens to the turn-based you know, RPGs? Where have they gone? It's like, they do still exist. They actually are still around. If you look at things like Bravely Default, if you look at things like Triangle Strategy or Octopath Traveler, they are absolutely, you know, 100% fantastic games. So that's something perhaps to consider. Uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, I'm going to use Attack Boost All because it might help. Joe not praying to Yoshi P. Heathen cancelled. Oh, it wouldn't be my first time. <laughs> it would not be my first time. Once I saw the combat in the new trailers, I was suddenly very interested because it looked sick, but I've always really loved the focus on party mechanics in uh, Final Fantasy, so that's the main reason I was feeling tenuous. Totally fair. Uh, I'm going to use this because it will help somewhat. So that's the main reason I was feeling tenuous. Even to this day, turn-based combat is one of my favourite things, and there's not a big market for that anymore. I think that that is something that people should bear in mind, is that, you know, there is less of a, um, a market for those kinds of things. 
because, you know, we live in a day and age where we live with TikTok, right? So stuff like that is always going to be not quite as... Uh, as popular because people just don't have the attention spans for it. Sometimes I wonder if I have the attention spans for it these days. It's terrible, really. Right, so at this point, I... Well, uh, we do want to get the... Uh, I don't think I want to jump just yet. I'm actually going to gun near because I don't want to jump quite yet. I'll jump on the next turn. Uh, and I'm actually going to use uh, Snowbreak and target Kane because then when he jumps up in the sky, then we get to use um, Core with both characters, and that's kind of cool. So up you go, Kane. That's fine. We're done with that now. Whoosh. Lancet, lovely. And then, uh, ooh, I've just realised though, I do need to think about this a little bit. Uh, well, let's do Soul of Rebirth. Make sure that that stays up. Square Enix has been really transparent about the changes they've been making to the FF series. If they want to keep making the mainline games, they have to evolve with the industry. Turn-based games are pretty niche now, so they have to adapt. And that I understand. I do I do too. I think I agree. I do agree. Okay, they're actually hitting me harder than I was expecting. Oh, that's because he's breakable. That'll be why. So this turn, I definitely want to use... Uh, Snowbreak to target... Oh, hold on. Oh, I might have messed up, actually. Uh, <laughs> always, a, always a good sign. Um, so if I use... I don't want to use the LD this turn. I want to use it on the next turn. So if I use Snowbreak and target Minwoo, and then I can use the EX and then keep the buffs up, and then that should work fine. Kane will come down, but it's okay. Uh, Soul Convergence. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll just have to use Cause FR on this turn. And then hopefully we get some heals off of that and it'll work nicely. I mean, you can tell that the damage is going to be there. It'll be fine. And then as soon as they get their bits, then that's okay. And then we get lots of traps going off here. I may lose a bit of damage from the from Core's FR phase because I'm going to have to use Kane for two turns, but it's fine. Uh, they are. I've tried to make it so that they're breaking out of order, yeah. So if I use, uh, well, I can use Reaper's Gale first. No reason not to. It's there. Might as well use it. Just get a little bit of extra chippy damage out of Kane, and then. Uh, I don't necessarily want to use Vanille, so I'm just going to go for the FR. And then hopefully we get some nice turn orders here, but I'm going to have to use two turns with Kane, which is a little annoying. But Kane's going to come down and we're going to have the, uh, the entire party with um, core extras, which is kind of nice. Does that count? That counts. Okay, that's okay. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. So I'm going to have to use a turn here doing this, which sucks. And yeah, I'll take the launch. Absolutely. I mean, at least I'm getting off to a good start. So we'll just jump straight up. Get the 5%. Or oh, 8% there. And then, I guess I just want to use Holy again here? Yeah, I don't see any reason to use anything else, so I'll just use Holy, because we don't want it. We want them to have turns, so. And then we just watch them do their own thing for a while. There we go, 55%. Start off with that, very nice. And then we just start getting 5% all over the place. Definitely wish I'd gotten, um, it, it, like, I still think that I maintain my opinion that it's sensible to not max out Minwu FR when I'm still hesitant to max it out. Um, if I'm going to go back into that banner, I think it just makes the most sense to not. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sticking to my guns on that. And Core FR is great, so it works out well, really. Power further increased, so then we're just going to go EX, I guess, here. Yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to mess about with that. 
I wonder how far we are going to get with this. There we go. Core doing core things. 48% and another 5% from Lancet. Additional attack from buff. There we go. More, more percent. More percentage. And then traps going off. I really enjoy holy. Like, I do really, really enjoy um, just off turn damage. Don't know why I said holy, but just watching things tick up because it just means that you're getting so many more attacks out of all the stuff that's going on with all of this. So I get a little chippier damage here. I mean, I'm going to have to jump up in the sky again with Kane, which is not ideal. But I can always use Kane's BT to just charge up again, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, I guess Solar Rebirth reattaches Holy Anchor, doesn't it? Yeah, it sets them all and then fills the EX. I'm just going to use that. Yeah, that works. Just use that. That'll do nicely. And the best bit is, is that Kane will jump up and he'll still be able to do stuff. And then I'll, I could always use the um, the gauge. Builders from um, the sum. I can use gauge builders in the summon if I need to. But that, I've still got five turns left of all this, so it's fine. Kane's going to come down and take two of them up, which is a little annoying. Off turn damage is fun. It's just fun. It's always worked well, so at this point. Oh, is he going to run out of the trap? Oh no, Soaring Bolt. Oh, that's fine. He's still got all, like, he's still got all that. That's all good. It's all good. Hopefully we'll get some good damage out of this still. I mean, we will, because we're not going to take many turns after this, so up you go. They're all targeting core anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is a lovely way to just do the fight quickly and easily and efficiently as well. Like, yeah, I don't have the BT for Minwu, which is kind of sad because this would be a lot, lot quicker if we did. A lot quicker. But it's okay. Lancet with a casual 1.3 mil, because why not? Uh, Snowbreak, I guess. Yeah. No point launching, because it won't do a lot. Oh, I should have given Minwoo an ultimate weapon. That would have been intelligent, wouldn't it? He would have done way more damage if I'd done that. I just completely forgot. And Kale Core, I didn't give him one either. <laughs> that would have been really intelligent, wouldn't it? It's fine. It's fine. I mean, they're not going to die from this, which is fine. Because neither am I, so... Uh, at this point, just Soul Convergence... And then let them take their turns, so and then I'll summon at the last minute. And then that'll work nicely, I think. Because then I get a big old percentage from that. I get a big old chunk of change from from dealing damage to that. I mean, 4.7 million from 616% is pretty tasty. Holy, 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 holy. And then all the good stuff. Lance sets. Just you keep dealing that damage, Core. Cool. You keep going. You good. You good. And then we can apply it, reapply it again. I don't know how much damage. I wonder how much damage we'll get out of the summon. Probably like 12 million, something like that. This is not an optimal way to do this. Like, if, I, based on my lack of equipping the characters properly. <laughs> we could have done much better than that, but we didn't. I would have also preferred to have used... Um, Minwoo's uh, FR here than cause. 12 to 14? Yeah, I reckon I explain, yeah. Why, why is Holy Anchor triggering twice? Because it's triggering once for every enemy. It's not triggering twice. It would trigger four times if the BT effect were a thing. And then summon. Get that big old chunk of change. And then I guess... I don't think I want a Reaper Scale here, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Or do I just want to... Hmm. Uh, snow Break and just get the launch. And then hopefully I'll still get the trap damage in the lab set as well. And then... Oh, 
we get a good old chunk of damage from that. And then Holy should go off as well. Lancets. Oh, we're only dealing once. Oh, it's because I'm mid summon. That'll be why. It's because I'm mid summon. That's okay. They're on like no percentage anyway. So where's the other trap trigger from? That's from his LD. Just deal as much damage as we can. Yeah, it's because we're mid summon. So that's not going to be particularly helpful here. At least Kane's doing damage. <laughs> And then we'll see if we can... Because I don't have any more Rising Drives left, which is a thing. So let's get ready. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get some damage out of Fang and Claw here. Because it, it batteries. It batteries. So we can get some damage from that. Now hopefully we can kill them before they go off. If I'd actually equipped an ultimate weapon, I probably would have done this properly. And that would have been a clever idea. So I'm going to cross cleave actually, because it's going to take away their buffs. And it's not going to deal damage anyway, so... All the ones! So many ones! Uh, I mean, you can EX, it's fine. <laughs> just seeing all this pathetic amount of damage is quite sad. I've just got to hope that I can kill them before, um, before they get their stuff off. Alexander would, would have worked very well. Alexander would have absolutely worked well. Reaper's Gale will work well here, though, because that'll actually hit still. <laughs> and then I'm out of summon, so it's okay. Now, can I take them out before... Oh, I still have a burst phase with Kane. I still have a burst phase with Kane. Which means I probably should have given that to Kane, but I didn't, because I'm not very intelligent. I'm doing really well here, just as an FYI. So, I'm actually going to use... I'm actually just going to use the burst, and it might just kill them. It might not, but it might. <laughs> so if I use, um, hmm. And if I keep Rising Drive for afterwards. So if I go jump, just to deal some extra damage. They should be dead here. They should be. With Core, oh, Core's still getting ticking. It's still fine. Core's still ticking. Yeah, they're done. They are very done. I'm actually going to Bravery attack here, because the uh, just the residual damage will do the work here, I reckon. So if I use uh, Fang and Claw, because it batteries, basically. So yeah, even with it, when you're a messy, messy idiot like me, you can still get this done. I mean, Minwoo does the job. I did also consider bringing Kuja to this, but I decided I wanted to do this way instead. So then Gongnir, then we get the double jump. Uh, yep, double jump, and then rising drive, and then double jump again. Because then you get Lancet followed by double jump. Yeah, that one's done. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, this isn't a particularly difficult event, unfortunately. Even if you do mess up like this many, this many times. And then we'll just uh, double jump again. Uh, actually, no, Gungnir. Gungnir will do more damage. Yeah, it's done. It's very, very done. The characters are carrying me! It's fine. The characters are carrying me. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Problem solved! <laughs> I was just like, oh yeah, oh, it's like, oh, hold on a minute, I still have a burst phase. I've completely forgot about having a burst phase. So yeah, that's it for the story chapter. So, but because I've made it easy for myself by not by using these three, I am not going to. I'm going to keep track, and I'm going to not use these characters for the rest of the month. Even though I definitely want to get hold of Minwoo's stuff, and hopefully after Varn and Hope come around, I can then do that. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys uh, used to clear this event. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep an eye out for any other videos I might be making. And that's going to be it for me. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.